So at Ulta, I picked up a nice little old palette for not very much money from Morphe. And I'm going to do a get ready today showing you how I did that and this lipstick from Maybelline that I also picked up. Hey everyone, it's Melissa. As I said, I picked up this little eyeshadow, and this lipstick too, but this little eyeshadow palette from Morphe. Now y'all look at that. Does that scream spring to you? The daffodils, the green grass, the trees, the plants, the dirt, the fresh dirt, earth, everything about this spring screams, it's hard to say, screams spring to me. And so uh, I got it. It's Morphe. It's, you know, I would consider that sort of drugstore priced. And it's just lovely. It's not sparkly. It's a whole matte. It is the Matte Essentials 9B. That's the cover of it. Got a nice big old mirror that I won't show you, but it is there. Nice big mirror. Uh, lovely colors. The names are on the back. And I am getting... I'm, I'm wanting to do a, two videos coming up, but it's taking time. One of them is all the tubing mascaras. I bought some more. And so I'll have at least two, six comparisons of tubing mascaras, if not more. I'll have to wait and see how much I've got. But that's taking some time because I do it every day. So I'm getting that ready. And I'm trying to see if I can do a knitting video uh, of the washcloths without me looking foolish. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm not the greatest knitter in the world, but I'm going to try it and, you know, sort it again and see if there's some way I can film my hands. You know, I've got ugly old hands, but if I can film it where I'm not too ashamed of my hands or too ashamed of my knitting, I'll see if I, if I can bring myself to do that, but we'll see. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you a get ready with me with this eyeshadow palette. Uh, and I like this look. I use this palette. It is you know, a lot of spring colors. It's a bright, I consider it a bright palette, you know. It's got some greens and it's got yellows and it's got those oranges, but you know, you can you can blend them out to get them the intensity that you want. And then I used a couple of these. I used a couple of these Urban Decay eye pencils. One of them is called the darker one. I used on the outside up here and up here just kind of outside. It's called Overdrive and I show it to you know later on. The other one is called Mildew. I don't know why they named it that, but they did and I use it all over and all under in my waterline. You know, just this is a hint of fun, but you could certainly leave that out. And may I speak about this lipstick? It is the, it's in the color Rogue. It's the Super Stay Vinyl Ink from Maybelline. You know, it's a lot of people have talked about it. It's in the little doe foot. There it is. Got it on today. It's a lovely color. And, you know, this is sort of warm and this is sort of cool. I thought that's not going to go together. I thought, why not? You know, uh, I think when I do my wrap up at the end, I say makeup should be fun and it should be and you should do what you want to do and what is fun for you to do. This life's too short to get too hung up on too many rules. So with that being said, I'm going to show you my look that I did. Okay, this first one is just a real pretty deep green on the bottom right of the palette and I'm putting that into my crease first. Now, I noticed when I was editing this that it, it felt like it looked a little patchy, but when I look at eyeshadows on my eyes up really, really close when I'm filming it, they all look like that on me. I don't think this one's any different. I just have to blend. I've got old eyes. Now, you know, sometimes I have an easier time with cream eyeshadows, but for powder, it just kind of looks, it kind of drags a little bit, but I still like it. I think it's beautiful. Then that's the middle, the absolute middle one, which is kind of a medium pinkish orange. It's pretty. And what I do with it, I take a fluffy brush and I kind of blur the top part of where that crease is. I like a little bit of orange and pink or just a little something that's a contrasting color to peek up above the uh, crease. I just, I don't know, I like that a lot. I see it 
um, professional artist, uh, makeup artist, and I've always really liked it. Okay, then I'm going down to the bottom left and getting that that brown color. It's a pretty warm brown color, and I take a little tiny brush and do little circles to kind of get it in the outer V there um, and work it up without getting it too far. You know, I kind of go in and outside and then run it back inside again to try to get it where it won't get outside the outer eye as much. Um, so I just do it in little tiny circles with the brush. Then I take the top right, kind of a celery green. And in person, these colors are a little bit lighter. And I do that on the lid. Just tap, tap, tap it on. In the middle of this, my battery ran out, so I had to come back about an hour later. Now, I had to come back an hour later and start filming again. But that kind of did okay. And then I take, I'm taking a clean brush and kind of blending those two colors together, the edges of it, so it won't be such a big jump between the colors. Then I'm going back to that middle pinkish orangish color again. And it's a pretty color. And I'm going just slightly into the inner corner, not the inner corner, the upper inner lid and the lower inner lid. It's a contrast to my eye color. I don't want to put it all over my eye, but what I'll do is put just a touch on the upper and the lower. And then I'm going to a medium green, which is on the second row on the far right, and I'm going to go underneath the lash line. Now I'm gonna go back to that brown again and I'm gonna go just in the outer third with a little bit darker brown there. Now, I'm taking that first eyeliner. This one is the mildew, <laughs> and I'm just lining my upper and lower lashes, uh, the waterline and the tight line there. Mildew by Urban Decay. It's a crazy name. I will link it down below, but it's, they've still, I've had it a long time. They still have it available. It's a, Kind of disgusting name for a pretty eyeliner. I really like that color a lot, but it's crazy. And then here's Overdrive, the darker, sort of a more turquoise liner, also from Urban Decay. And I just do the outer little third of that upper and lower, just to give it a little more depth. Both sides. And then just putting on some mascara. I did it upper lashes and lower lashes. Then I took a brush with nothing on it and just really blend it all around, all around the edges, even underneath my line, my bottom lashes. And then put on my Honey Thief. I really like that blush a lot. I'm very loyal to it. <laughs> And then I line my lips just with MAC Spice. Some leftover lipstick on, um, but try to ignore that. And then here is that Maybelline in the color Rogue. It's just a beautiful color. I thought it went pretty well with it, with the whole look. There's the finished look before I go do my hair and come back. Okay, this is the finished look. I really think this is a lovely little palette. Um, you know, it, it would be one to easily overlooked, overlook because it's not sparkly or anything like that. It's matte, but it's just, it's upside down, but I didn't want to do the light, but it's just so pretty. It looks like East Tennessee to me. This palette just looks like East Tennessee and um, I really fell in love with it when I saw it. It's a palette that you might think is hard to work with because it's kind of bright, but it really isn't. I really truly believe no matter how old we are, and I do have um, eyes that, you know, when I blend it, it drags and stuff because my eyes are old and crepey. Uh, and that's just the way it is. 
but I still that still is not going to stop me from doing the eyeshadows that I want to do I just keep blending and keep working with it and I do think that we can wear any color eyeshadow that we want that will contrast or coordinate with our eyes or our clothes or anything you know makeup's fun eyeshadows are fun and I think it's just going to be a matter of blending. You know, you can have a hint of a tinge of the color and it will bring out your eyes and, you know, do it for your comfort level. I throw it on sometimes, you know. Sometimes I don't do much blended. I don't care. I like a lot of eye makeup. I like a lot of color on my face. And so, you know, I think my family's still gonna love me anyway, <laughs> but um, I like a lot of color. But if you don't, but you kind of want to a little bit if you just do it lightly and and take these beautiful colors that you're interested in and try them on your eyes with a light hand you know holding the end of the brush and putting it on there and just keep blending just keep lightly blending and you'll get there you'll get the color that you want the the depth of color that you want and that you're comfortable with and it brings out your eye color and your personality Okay, I have lectured enough, so I'm going to get off of here. Love you all, and these lipsticks are good. I like them. Uh, love you all. Take care, and um, I'm getting my knitting sorted and my tubing mascaras sorted, so I'll be doing those two videos coming up, and hopefully if I can get them, you know, where I'm happy with them. But anyway, take care. Love you all, and I hope you all have a wonderful week uh, coming up and talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.